What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another video where we discuss the different playstyles and the different formations and tactics you're going to want to play with these playstyles. So we've already covered possession, and yeah, we've already covered possession, and we have also covered long ball counter. So next up is quick counter. So yeah, a lot of this information is for newcomers. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people that are either A, uh, finding the game, or B, finding this channel. So yeah, we cover a lot of uh, tactics, a lot of formations, um, and we just try and break down the information as simple as possible. I mean, look, you can overcomplicate it. I mean, depending on, you could use the best tactics with the best formation, and you could spend a thousand quid on your team. And, you know, you still might, might not be as good as somebody uh, that's in the top 500. I mean, there's obviously going to be people that are just absolute demons at the game. But yeah, if you do want to improve and you do want to kind of set your team up right, uh, you, de you definitely will see the benefits of it. You know, I think that there's a lot that you can do that's just away from kind of playing the game with the controller like in your hands. I think there's a lot that can be that can be done in terms of like what I try focus on is controlling the game, reading the opponent's uh, play style. Like, is he a you know possession based player? Is he a crosser? Is he a dribble guy? Is he a long range shooter? Is he a one touch passer? Is he a mixture of, you know, one or two? Is he over committing on defense? Does he teammate press? There's a lot of stuff that you can focus on within the first 20, 25 minutes of a game. Keep it tight, keep it controlled, and you'll be able to compete with the best players that you come up against on your road to a Division 1. Or even if you just want to have a bit of crack with different squads, it is fun just to mix it up, right? So today, as I said, we are going to be focusing on quick counter. This is probably the most used as well as um, long ball counter. And obviously, we have the quick counter here. It gives a definition of when attacking. So when we actually are attacking, when we have the ball in our possession... And when we're, you know, roaming forward with the ball looking for goals, it says here that the player movement will be when attacking. Players will spring a counter-attack by actively dashing towards the opponent's goal. Now, this is kind of explained a little bit better after uh, gaining possession. When it says, when the ball possession is regained close to the opponent's goal, the players will immediately dash towards the goal to enable a counter-attack. So you can see the arrows here. So once you turn the ball over in the mid in the, in the opponent's half, like once you are able to turn the ball over there, your player's AI will automatically like just switch into super aggressive mode that they're going to be making runs. So you can see there that we've intercepted the ball in this diagram with say your, your CMF. Your back four is staying there, your DMF is staying in midfield, and then you are able to attack with however, you know, depending on your formation, in this formation, you're able to attack with your two wide players, your AMF and your striker. So you're, and, and also you're bringing the ball forward with your CMF or your AMF, depending on what position that you have set up. In our case here, we have Mount in that role. So if Mount was after intercepting the ball, then we're pushing forward with the pace, right? While keeping our back four solid and keeping our back four tight. When the ball possession is regained, it means in that like two seconds that you actually get the ball back in your control or you get an interception or you block the passing lane and turn over the opponent in possession, you're going to be able to go immediately start a counterattack. So again, when it says that you're attacking, you're going to spring in a counterattack by actively dashing towards the opponent goal. On the flip side, when you are defending, it says that players will form a high defensive line. So there's a couple of things to watch out for here depending on your skill level, right? your players are automatically going to look to get the ball back as quickly as they possibly can. So think of it like kind of like a Gigan press. It's not going to be as aggressive as Pez 21's Gigan press or if you go, you know, fully out attack or whatever like that um, with the team A press. But yeah, they definitely will look to win the ball high up the pitch. I mean, it defines it here and it tells you exactly what the AI does. Now, sometimes the AI can can screw you um, and sometimes it doesn't play as it describes here. But yeah, it does usually work if you actually have your players, I always try to keep my defensive line kind of in a, in a line, you know, keep your defenders in a line, keep your midfielders in a line and your attackers in a line. Um, and that way then that you always have options. And then also it says after losing possession, when ball possession is lost, so say you're on a counter attack, you lose the ball, we mount there and attack a midfield 
and then you're at sixes and sevens at the back and in midfield and all it takes is two three key passes and the player is in on goal it says that nearby players will aggressively pressure the opponent in numbers to try and regain possession so this quick counter play style is all about aggression it's all about having players in your squad that high, have high aggression that are able to track down the ball that are able to chase down the ball that are able to block passing lanes interceptor um, and stuff like that so for example if you are playing a formation like this we are going to want to have a back four again we have what most people are using again let's look i i don't use this three center back i have like with my team i have five at the back but i'm a very very attack based player like i'm a very aggressive base player because i always bring in my left and right midfielders and i bring one of my center backs into midfield to kind of bring the ball forward as kind of like a, a quarterback um and that just is what works for me i use the width a lot this formation here that we're looking at is very very like quick counter based as we have this uh, video on here so we're going to want to defend with our back four as we see here we're not going to really roam it forward with Kimmich because he's defensive minded like even Kimmich here as you can see his stamina is 90 his defensive awareness is 77 and his aggression is 84 Bastoni you can see here his aggression is 81 up in Meccano you can see his aggression is 88 and Saliba you can see that his aggression is 80 so even in midfield here we have this guy who is 83 aggression we've got Modric who has got 88 balance 73 aggression we've got Mount his aggression is quite low so we might want to take a look at that because it's all about controlling the pace controlling when you push controlling when you press controlling when you move forward with the ball but it's all about just getting the ball into Mount and Modric and then having a front five to attack. So you're either going to run and dribble uh, or else you're going to one touch pass between these two and then have the three options up front to mix it up and have a little like kind of weird angled triangles going across. So you've got a triangle here. You've got a triangle here between Mount, Lewandowski and Modric and you've got a, a triangle here between Lewandowski, Modric and Neymar. So look, obviously things don't work out that way all the time on the pitch. But that is how I would definitely set up the team. And then you're going to want to just get the ball up here. So quick counter, I would say, lads, is for pe players that don't like, you know, that aren't comfortable on the ball, that just want to either be defending or attacking with no real possession. It's not really something that I would play um, personally because it, it doesn't suit my play style personally. But I know that there are people that play it and they're absolutely like they're just monsters at the game. You know, they did they'd have five, six passes passed before I'd even have one pass, you know, because I'm a slower based player. I like possession. I like, you know, having out wide. But even something like this, if you wanted to switch it up and have long counter, you could still play a little bit more conservative uh, if you switch things up here and have your left and right midfielders and then just have this. I've seen a lot of people use this as well, where they have their back four kind of fairly solid like this, tucked in like that. And then obviously Kimmich is in like as far as he can go right. And then you have your DMF really as far back as possible. And then you're you're basically attacking with these five players here. So you just make it like that you fill the pitch here. And then you have your striker up front. And all you'll be doing there is crossing. So one touching, you know, one touch passing. Really quick zippy passes between these four. Get it out wide and then be bombarding crosses in. Or be bombarding like one touch little triangles here, here and here. So yeah. So that is it, lads. It's a shorter video today. Quick counter uh, is a kind of, again, you need to decide what play style you want to have. If you are a newcomer to the game, check out my other videos. This is the third video in this kind of series where we look at the different play styles. Um, we are using Gasparini there as well as a manager. He's got 80 uh, in quick counter. He's only 100,000 and he's he's a fairly decent manager. Um but yeah, he doesn't have any other, he can play out wide with 70, but obviously we're going to have to take a look. I would say one thing on quick counter, depending on how good you are, you could put a defensive uh, on counter target to keep up your wingers. So we could keep Neymar up here. And if you wanted to be even a little bit more solid, you could just put defensive on uh, one of your center midfielders. So we put the width here. Uh, he's going to just be staying defensive. He's not going to join the attack. So we're defending with five and we're attacking with five. That's what quick counter is all about. But you're talking literally once you get the ball with your center backs or any any of the players back there from DeWitt back. So DeWitt, Saliba, Upper Meccano, Bastoni, Kimmich. The second you get the ball with them, you're spraying it forward. Like that is the play style that you need to play with quick counter. So as I said, it's not for me. I'm more possession based. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And let me know what formation and tactics you guys are using at the moment with the gameplay that's out at the moment. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe for more. I'll be back quite soon. Peace. Have a good one.